So me and Caden finally made it back home after a long 10 days traveling all over the northeastern part of the country and we figured what's a better way to come back than going on an awesome backpacking adventure. So we packed our bags and headed straight towards the Blue Ridge Mountains. I've missed these mountains so much and I'm stoked to be back traveling around and seeing all the sights out here and in this video we are seeing some amazing swimming holes and waterfalls and camping on an awesome mountain with an amazing view. Alright, on the way to this waterfall I got a bunch of gear with me. I um, heard that this trail down to this waterfall it's very short it's like a quarter of a mile but I mean it's already pretty steep and uh, I've heard that it's not well marked so hopefully we don't get lost oh, <laughs> oh boy <laughs> you guys catch that bro Caden just about ate it yeah now I gotta do it Oh, we're good. I did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. Dry. Bro, this is actually pretty steep. This is like, damn. I know the GoPro is terrible at showing how steep things are. I hear the waterfall. We're very close. <laughs> One wrong step, dude. You're screwed. I was thinking about bringing my flip or like wearing my flip flops, but that would have been a disaster. I don't know how to, it's vertical. That root where my finger is, is probably 10 feet away, like down. All right, I think we're here. Man, it gets so muddy right here and it's just gnarly. Oh, oh. look at this dude. We gotta do a water test. Uh, not that bad. All right, we made it. You can see that the waterfall is way bigger than I thought it was. I did not know it was that big. I'm kind of nervous to get in the water though. The water's clear, but it's not like clear, clear. And you got snakes. Last time I was near water in the mountains, I saw a snake in the water. So, you know, it's making me, uh, think but I'm just gonna send it and, and just get in Yo, look at my freaking side. I didn't even hit it on anything. Caden got a scrape too. Ah, there's a legit floating ass log in here. We're trying to balance on it. Ah, it's kind of hard, but this is sick. The water's not that cold. Once you get in there, it's fine. But uh, I think that's it for the swimming hole. Me and Caden got beat up. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head to the campsite for the night up at Sam's Knob in Shining Rock, or near Shining Rock Wilderness. And uh, hopefully we can get up there before sunset, because that would be epic. I had to stop at this view. It's been a while since like I've had a view like this because we've been up in New England in the mountains up there and there's nothing like this there. The mountains are so tall there and so prominent but the roads are all below the mountains. There's not really any roads that go up 
any mountains except for like the Washington, Mount Washington Road that goes to the top. We're out here on the Blue Ridge Parkway and just getting like amazing views like this, man. And it's been so hazy from the wildfires for the majority of the summer so far. This is like the first time that we're getting like pretty crisp views. It's not perfect, but it's way better than it was. All right, just parked, got everything put in our bags. And now we got like half a mile up to the top of Sam's Knob. Been here twice and I mean, it's freaking amazing. Such an amazing little trail, a pretty easy climb. It's probably gonna be a little harder with all this weight on our backs. I got pretty a pretty heavy setup right now because I have a bunch of cameras and stuff and more water than normal. So we should be fine, but I'm excited. We're gonna get there with enough time to set up and enough time for sunset. I'm just hoping that we actually get a campsite. I don't know how many campsites are at the top and it's a super nice day and very nice weather for backpacking. You know, it's kind of hit or miss up there. You know, you can't tell unless you're up there. We're gonna go see, hopefully we get a nice camp spot at the top of Sam's Knob. So pretty much up at the top by now. Honestly, that climb, I mean, got the wind out of us a little bit, but I feel like we're different men after climbing Mount Washington. Like, <laughs> like this isn't really anything after that. About to go see if uh, there's a free campsite up here or not. That'd be kind of weird. If uh, there's not, then we have to hike back down. All right, guys, we made it to the top. And this, this is the moment of truth, to be honest. That one camp spot, if you guys remember, last time we were out here, I'll actually show you a little clip from that because we're in the exact location from last time. This is where we're at right now. And that's what it was like a few months ago when we were here in the clouds. This is the view I was hoping for back then. And this is where we're staying the night. Right over here is the campsite, and I don't hear anybody. We're gonna go over there and see. It's either gonna be a really awkward thing because there's gonna be somebody over there, or it's gonna be awesome because there's gonna be nobody over there. Oh, <laughs> yes, dude, stoked. stoked. <laughs> Look at this. This is home for the night, guys. Look at this view. This is so sick, you can see if I go over here, you can actually see the trail that we came from way down there in the field. We parked like right over there and walked all the way around and up to here. So if you see this little rocky knob out there, that my friends is Devil's Courthouse out there on the Blue Ridge. We actually just passed that on the way here. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this little round or the big round mountain is Big Butt. And then I'm pretty sure that that small one is Little Butt. I'm not even lying. And then over here, that's Black Balsam Knob, that peak right there in the middle, been over there before. And then over here, this ridge line right there, that is the Craggies. We got a fire pit right here. So if we can find firewood, then we can start a fire. If you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to leave a like on this video and Make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content. And if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing here, all right? If you're not subscribed, I'm joking. I appreciate you watching, period. But yeah, if you like this stuff, you know, click that little button down there. That would really make my day. And also, if you like this content, I have plenty of other videos on here that are similar. So you can go check those out. That really helps my channel out if you watch more of my content. So 
yeah, enough with the plug. Let's go ahead and set up camp. Now, me and Caden are on the hunt for some firewood. So we're gonna go somewhere and find it. This is dead. Some dead twigs. You definitely don't wanna take anything that's alive. That's bad, bad. No, no. So I got this stuff here. That is thick. Let's get this thing going. Levi, you have a big, massive mosquito on your It's on your boob, dude. We just ran down the mountain back into tree line to go get a bunch of moss, dry moss. If this doesn't light, I... let's see if this works. Get, get something. Get, what? Get some twigs. Can go. Can go. Can go. Can I'm trying, go. dude. All right, so <laughs> it's a. Uh, we're we're not gonna start a fire tonight. Um, <laughs> I think it's a little too windy. When we got it going good enough, it started going everywhere. I think God's trying to tell us just to not start a fire tonight. So we're gonna take it as a sign to not start a fire and we're not gonna start a fire. But I'm bundled up in my sleeping bag because it's a little nippy because we got the wind, we're on this bald. We're gonna sit here, stare at the stars. I'm gonna eat some food and uh, Go to bed. Hey guys good morning it's like 6 30 in the morning and um sun is rising over the ridge line down there absolutely beautiful right now definitely makes up for the fact that i uh i slept for a complete hour maybe at most last night so uh that was great <laughs> but but i mean you can't beat this this is awesome hey <laughs> you sleep good no but i slept better than you that's true my sleeping pad still has a hole in it <laughs> so i th so, literally i put in i put like 20 layers of tape on it 
Levi's sleeping pad has a warranty. Yeah. But he won't call him and get a new one. I'll get I'll get a new one. I didn't have time before this trip, so I tried to patch it and it didn't work. So I slept on the ground all night. Well, I laid on the ground all night and I tried to sleep. There was a point where I woke up and it you know it was dark, but I could still see his face. And I woke up and we were both like this, and he was just like <laughs> and he looked so mad. And I just closed my eyes and went back to sleep. Either way, guys. This is a mission success. I think we're gonna sit here, watch the sunrise, get some shots, and uh, head out. Luckily, we're like a quick walk to the car, and we're gonna go get some food, get some coffee, and uh, that's gonna be it. Oh yeah. If you guys enjoyed this adventure, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz. Check out some of my other videos, and uh, check out this guy's channel as well. We'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.